Well, welcome back to my channel. Um, you probably hear some music in the background. It's uh, pretty sure it's out of copyright. It's by Haydn, uh, Concerto Number no. C in the cello. Uh, my son is practicing his cello, so uh, must carry on and make these uh, YouTube videos. So anyways, uh, back to the subject at hand. <coughs> um, uh, watches, so part of Penn's watches and technology uh, for my channel. Uh, but anyways, uh, today I'd like to talk about dollar pocket watches. Of course, pocket watches, as we all know, were something that was much more popular back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. But to be honest, actually, pocket watches were made throughout, um, even until the modern age. And of course, today, you can still find pocket watches out there of uh, varying quality. Of course, now you'll find some quartz pocket watches, etc., etc. Uh, this one in particular I like to talk about is a style pocket watch called the Dollar Pocket Watch, which was started in the late 1800s in an attempt to mass produce watches on a mass scale, uh, produced cheaply, targeting around the dollar, not a dollar exactly, maybe a buck fifty, but to be able to reach the masses, to get <clears throat> as many of these watches out there as possible to the buying public. And West Clocks was one of the companies that produced um, this uh, uh, pocket watch uh, called the West Clocks Scotty. And the uh, West Clocks Scotty uh, is an absolutely uh, gorgeous uh, little example of the dollar pocket watch. I mean, you know, it's um, not gold, it's not gold plated, it's not gold filled, it's not gold anything. Uh, I think this is just plain metal stainless steel or something like that. Um, as far as I could tell from the design of the hands and um, the uh, writing and the material that's made, that this actually was made around uh, 1960s, 1973. So even as recent as 1960s, 1970, uh, 1970s, um, uh, these watches were being made. Now, um, West Clocks, uh, and this actually was probably the third uh, iteration of uh, that uh, watch line. So the watch, uh, uh, West Scott, Scotty, I should say, this particular model had a very, very long and robust run uh, and successful run. Um, and uh, in many ways, it's very different than the sort of Elgin pocket watches or the Hamilton pocket watches where the ball uh, railroad um, uh, certified pocket watches of the day were uh, really, they were truly not just watches, but really works of art. Um, and so, uh, you know, I'm going to go into a little bit more depth and detail. Uh, usually, like I said before, I like to do this in one-on-one, -on -one, but um, I'd like to get a little bit of better focus and angle on this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut into a, uh, a different angle in a second. So, um, uh, uh, so here we go. Okay, and here's a close-up of the West Clock Scotty. Um, and um, as you can see, um, uh, uh, the typical sweeping motion uh, of the second hand um, based on sort of the shape of the hand and the fact that it says shock resistant, uh, the uh, hoop ring here um, that connects the chain um, and um, uh, other features. Uh, this is probably a series three. Uh, which ran from circa 1960 to 1973 or thereabouts. Uh, it was a very long-running uh, and very successful model for West Clocks. Um, and again, uh, a every person uh, pocket watch that um, really, quite frankly, is I guess equivalent to like a Timex. Although these were designed to be disposable, they were never really meant to be uh, refurbished, reused, or tinkered with like some of the more uh, elegant ones like the Elgin I've shown or some of uh, the Hamiltons or the balls that were made um, in the early 1900s that were just uh, absolutely gorgeous, you know. Not really sure, you know, probably some kind of stainless steel material and um, uh, with some kind of glass mineral type of a crystal. Um, if you guys know any uh, better than I do, that's the best I could figure out from the research of uh, uh, this watch um, uh, um, when I was uh, sort of uh, uh, looking at it online. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, on to uh, last topic of the day. Okay, so I'd like to end this video with something a little fun. Um, uh, you know, transitioning from the dollar pocket watch is something just to say goodnight, 
to everyone, although I probably shouldn't be drinking this, uh, this late at night. But anyways, um, uh, what I'm talking about is coffee. Uh, in fact, chicory coffee. During um, this uh, lengthy stay at home from work that I had uh, just experienced uh, due to uh, a, the global pandemic, <clears throat> um, I um, was online and I always loved New Orleans and I always went down to Cafe Du Monde when I could to get beignets but never got their chicory coffee and uh, I was like, you know what, what the heck, let, let me see what this is all about, how it's different. I mean, I've had coffee obviously in my life but never took a huge liking to it and um, so I got online, I bought um, this uh, community coffee, uh, coffee and chicory, it actually had great reviews, it's an instant coffee actually. Um, and, um, I know, I know it's, you know, you want to grind your own beans. You want the beans to be relatively roasted recently, et cetera, et cetera. I've seen your coffee videos, but to be quite frank, I'm not a coffee connoisseur and I'm sorry. You know, I did get my caffeine from, um, um, uh, from, uh, diet sodas, usually not coffee or maybe tea. I'm Chinese, right? So, uh, well, Chinese American. <clears throat> so anyways, I thought I'd give this a try. And so I uh, kind of followed the instructions. I said something about uh, having hot water and um, uh, probably did all the wrong things. Uh, so I apologize. I uh, microwaved uh, some water uh, in here um, and until I got it steaming hot. Uh, no filter, of course. Uh, no beans to grind. Uh, just, uh, you know, no different fancy schmancy apparatus to, uh, you know, make this coffee. I just took a teaspoon, put it in a cup and stirred it up and here it is. Uh, and uh, let's give it a try. I have no clue. I have no way to describe it. Uh, I don't know if it's a fruit, if it's a nut, or if it tastes like uh, chocolate covered Cheerios. But to be quite frank, it tastes like watered down coffee to me. Um, sorry, Community Coffee. You guys sound like a great brand. A lot of great people that like you uh, in online review. I would love to say, hey, you got a great product, but I just don't like coffee. And I can't really tell about the chicory part though. It tastes maybe, maybe that's why it tastes a little watered down is maybe the chicory cuts into the actual coffee bean. I mean, this is some kind of uh, Arabica coffee and chicory. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um, good night. I thought I'd leave you with a little bit uh, something to uh, uh, smile about. Um, and uh, hopefully I won't be up till 3 a.m. because I just drank this right now. Stay safe. <laughs>